Nikki Bernstein here with trainer David Casson, who will saddle Nikki Sandcastle this Saturday in the Grade 2 Fort Lauderdale Stakes, going a mile on the 16th on the turf. And hopefully we have weather, appropriate weather for this race because he was entered in the El Prado Stakes on December 21st here at Gulfstream, but the weather was not cooperating for his liking, so he did not run and he's been off since. So how has he been training? How's he doing? He's doing well, you know, been doing good, and uh, we're planning on running the Fort Lauderdale if the weather permits. You know, we're adamant against running on a soft turf. He's gotten hurt twice when we've done that, and I've cross-centered him in the Howl's Hope the same day, which is a mile in the dirt, and if it's a soft turf and we don't like it, well, we'll try to run the Howl's Hope. Wonderful, and you mentioned he, he has gotten hurt on the soft turf before. He did have a foot bruise a little while back and hadn't raced in a few months, so you said he's been training well since then and he seems to be over that completely and I missed a little training you know I hope we got him fit enough you know it's kind of damn if you do and damn if you don't sometimes you know but anyway he needs running right now and hopefully he's fit enough and he'll give a good account of himself I think and he ran in the Fort Lauderdale Stakes last year he finished a close fourth can you tell us a little bit about that race well he, he was favored that day had won the two stakes the two previous races and he was way back in uh, Fort Lauderdale, and I thought he came 10 wide. You know, he lost so much ground and, and still looked like he had a chance to win at the eighth pole, and he just hung there, though, and got beat a little over length. Mm -hmm. And uh, the next time we ran him on a soft turf, that's when he got hurt. Right. And so this Saturday, if he does run in the Fort Lauderdale, he will face some similar competition from last year. Any different tactics going into this Saturday? It just depends on what he's doing, you know. He can lay up close and I think he will right now because he's pretty sharp and he needs running mm -hmm. and but you know he's capable of coming from way back too he's done both so we just had to see how they come away from the gate and how it goes it's, you did mention that he is a very versatile horse and he's one of the older horses in in the race and he seems to have matured a lot over the years would you agree I think so you know that I don't know that family I got three horses out of that mayor and every one of them seem like they're late bloomers you know and they get better with age so i think that's kind of been the way with nikki that's great well good luck to you and nikki we hope to see you both this saturday in either the grade two fort lauderdale or the house hope thank you